Hi there, this is Matt from ClickBid, and I want to do kind of an off-the-cuff uh, wrap-up video on a kind of a, a unique event that we did last week. We tested out some new technology, and I want to talk a little bit about it and show you how I set this up. Um, fairly inexpensive, pretty easy to do, and we had a lot of fun doing it. <clears throat> You'll also notice that you know I was going to wait. It's my birthday today, so. I have some wonderful folks that decorated my office and so I was going to wait but I thought you know what it's festive. This was a great experience and I, I think it's worth sharing. So what we did was we created um, for an event last week that had their in-person event the ability to do a 360 degree wraparound experience for anybody who couldn't attend. We're kind of in that phase of COVID where some people are attending, some people aren't and they want to be able to experience the event from home if they can't make it. So you can see this is the landing page that we set up for them and here is the live VR broadcast. Right now you can see there's nothing here but we'll change that in just a second. Um, and so that when the event started we had some equipment set up, very easy stuff, and it was able to broadcast it. So let's dive into what that stuff was. I picked up this, uh, this camera, it's got two little kind of fish eye looking cameras on either end of it. It's called a Ricoh Theta camera. Um, I bought one of these. It has a USB port on the bottom and then I went to a hardware store and I bought a long threaded uh, machine screw I guess and then I took a tripod a little portable tripod I can use it for my cell phone but in the top it has the same diameter hole and I was able to screw that in. So I get this kind of goofy looking tripod camera that I can set anywhere I want. And the reason I put that screw in there is because I'm going to plug this cable in the bottom. Some other 360 cameras don't have this kind of design issue, but uh, it works all right. Helps me get the camera up a little bit higher too. We set the camera on a bistro table. Those are usually four and a half feet tall maybe. And so we set it in a corner. We had some good Wi-Fi. And then I took just a portable laptop. This is my um, Windows Surface. And I downloaded OBS. So I downloaded OBS onto it. This is the OBS that you can get on your admin. So I'll go ahead and show you that. If I go to my admin under live broadcast, you can download uh, the OBS software here, download it. And then I took my laptop, plugged in the camera, went just like that, and then I plugged in my little hockey puck ah, video conference microphone. So this is a nice kind of distant pickup microphone. I, I would prefer to get an actual feed from the AV company. So if the AV company was doing any audio microphones at the podium, they could give me a audio output that I could plug in and that would be a little better quality. But this worked great. I mean, we picked up we picked up the MC from completely across the venue, so that was wonderful. So then what I did was I actually went ahead and plugged in the camera, turn it on here, hold down the power button, and then once I get this bad boy on, there we go, and so now on this, there's actually a mode that's live broadcasting. So it takes the live feed and sends it out of the cable and that goes into my computer and I plug that into OBS. And so all I have to do is choose my camera and it will take just a minute, gets everything connected and then we start getting what we have here is a full 360 degree image. It looks kind of bubbly, you know, wrapped around. It's basically a cylinder that they unwrap and they put it onto a canvas. Well, there's a little bit more technical to it than that. You, in, in the OBS program, I set up a canvas that was, I think it was 1440 pixels wide by 720 pixels tall. So it's twice as wide as it is tall because it takes an image that's more rectangular. And then when I change my uh, settings uh, in my OBS, I can tell it to output at a really, you know, if you have a lot of bandwidth, I'm using 8,000 kilobytes per second or 8 megabytes per second. And then I just go ahead and click start streaming. And then on my landing page, 
I think I might need to refresh it really quick. It will start broadcasting. So I'm going to just leave the, the microphone off, but if you click on this, it turns the microphone on. And you can see that I am rotating around in 360 degrees. So it's funny because you're seeing me twice. You're seeing me in the in the training video that I'm doing, and you're also seeing me here in the camera. I'm looking right at it. Hi, everybody. And so the delay is very fast. So I'm going to put my hand, let me see if I can get this in front of the camera here. I'm going to put my finger up in one, two, three. Notice that was about a one second delay. One, two, three. And so I can do a 360 degree live broadcast with a one second delay. And the reason that delay exists is not really because of the, the actual technology we're using to stream, it's the time it takes the picture to get unwrapped and brought into OBS and rebroadcast is about um, two thirds of that delay. So I just take this, plug it all in, make sure there's some power running it, and just let this thing sit for the entire event. And then when people want, they can come in here and they can click and they can drag around. And they can see the entire venue. You can see here I'm broadcasting this and you can have this streaming to thousands of people from around the country, around the world. So all of your constituents can just join in. So this is something we're really excited about over at ClickBid, playing around with it, making it uh, available to nonprofits as a way to take what we learned from COVID and really use it to boost future fundraising. Mm -hmm.